wedge between the Taman Tun Dr. Ismail district and the Kuala Lumpur Golf Country Club. The Rimba Kiara Park serves as an oasis for nearby urbanites looking for a short escape from the bustling city life. The park, however, has been shrouded in a controversy after district residents found out that eight blocks of luxury apartments will be developed at a plot of land in front of the park. The development site currently serves as parking base for those frequenting the park and a residential area for the nearby Longhouse settlement. Several protests have been held by district residents throughout last year and this year, but Federal Territories Minister Datuk Sri Tunku Adnan Tunku Mangso has recently stated that the project will go on as planned. Currently, there aren't any signs indicating that the controversy will end anytime soon, and such uncertainty has caused worry towards those involved in it, particularly the Longhouse settlers. Meet Krishna Kumari, a 56-year-old settler who has been living in the settlement for the last 36 years after the government acquired the nearby estate land that is now known as Bukit Kiara. Sebab kita dah duduk sini, rumah papan dah duduk sini, dah 35 tahun. Kalau dia bagi rumah, satu rumah free, satu rumah bayar, senanglah. Umur kita pun dah tinggi, dah 55, 56, 60 kan? Ah Macam mana nak dapat loan? Kita risaulah kalau tak dapat. Sebab apa? Kita pun dah lama... Uh, kita pun dah lama duduk sini, kita tak ada dapat rumah macam tu, kita pun risau lah. Sebab kita pun dah lama kan, ha, bila kita nak duduk, takkan kan kita nak duduk rumah ini aja. Sebab mak saya pun okey you, kakak saya pun okey dialisi, mak saya pun bapa, uh, mak saya pun dah patah kaki, saya pun okey you tau, saya, mata saya satu tak nampak. Ha, macam tu macam mana kita nak dapat loan? Ha, nak beli rumah lain macam mana nak beli? Like many of her neighbours, Krishna was promised a free, affordable flat house unit by the developer upon her cooperation. Dia sudah janji kita nak buat rumah sini. Untuk kita first lah. Dia orang kaya punya orang mana mana pun boleh pergi beli. Kita bukan banyak kaya. Lagi kita pun tak boleh dapat loan. But the ongoing protest against the development project has her worried about her chances in getting a new home. Kalau itu kaya punya orang duduk macam kita, baru dia tahu risau macam mana. Ha, dia sudah ada dia sudah ada rumah batu, dia senang-senang cakap. Kalau dia duduk rumah papan, baru dia tahulah kita macam mana susah, kita macam punya mana? rasa, kita punya susah macam mana dia baru tahu. Macam mana jogging Pasti sudah ada berapa tempat. You mau tiga, empat tempat, kalau orang miskin nak pergi mana? Nonetheless, there are also those who are rather unsupportive of the project. 46 years old car wash operator Velu Ganesh said that he does not mind living in the long house. Kalau tak buat apa pun senang juga ini. Kalau ini macam lagi lagi seronok lah. Itu mau tengok dinding juga masuk rumah tak ada apa. Ha, ini boleh nampak hijau-hijau kita boleh tanam, tanam sayur ke cili. Ya. Saya dengar dia mau buat untuk rumah untuk untuk kita bukan sini dekat taman. Sana dia mau buat apa untuk kita mau pindah ke sana dulu baru dia makan ini tempat bukan sini. According to Velu Ganesh, this is the alleged site that will be developed into the settlers' free flat houses. As you can see, it is located deep inside the Rimba Kiara Park. If it is true, then this contradicts the local authorities' assurance that the development project will not encroach inside the Rimba Kiara Park. It also means that the resident of Taman Tun Dr. Ismail might have an even stronger reason to oppose the project.